Hey guys, I have an awesome, awesome video for you guys today. The gentleman by the name of Andy, who runs my Nissan Note ePower.wordpress.com, has put together a guide on how to modify the internal systems in your Nissan Note ePower. This is his website here, and he has been able to put together some very, very impressive stuff. He's written out a guide on how to do a bunch of things and change a bunch of settings in your car. Some of the settings that he has been able to modify are changing the language in the around view monitor. He's been able to enable one touch indicators. He's been able to enable follow me home lights. He's been able to disable the reverse gear beeping. And everything that you need is on his website. He's got photos, he's got steps. He tells you a bunch of things that needs to be done. This video here is going to go through the exact same thing, but in a video. So massive shout out to Andy for finding all of this, discovering it, writing it up and putting it on the net for all of us to see. I'm just gonna expand on it, make a video out of it. And there you go. But please, 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 please go check out Andy's website. He has a PayPal donation if you really enjoy his stuff and that will definitely help him keep the site going. So before we go any further, I need to explain a couple of things. This is going to be a video series. This video that you're watching now is essentially the intro. We're just gonna get you set up with the computer and what needs to be done. After that, jump onto my channel and go through my uploads. I've made a video series of all the functions that you can modify individually. So just find the function that you're interested in changing and you can play around with those settings. The first thing that you need is a Windows computer. The laptop that you're looking at here is a MacBook Air. It's running Windows 10, so it's a Windows computer. So don't get confused, you can't use a Mac, you need to have a Windows computer. The computer that you need is a Windows 7, 8, 10 or 11 laptop. You will need a laptop because you're going to have to take the computer out to the car. Now the next thing you'll need is an OBD reader. This is the one I've got. ELM 327 interface. It is technically a cheap eBay one, but uh, Andy has provided with the correct one that you need, which is a PIC18F25K80 chip uh, OBD2 reader. Um, I don't know if this has it or not. I've, I've had this for years, it worked. If you buy an OBD reader and it doesn't have the correct chip, it most likely just won't work at all. Finally, the last thing that you need is the program itself. The program is called DDT for All. It's a program internally used by Nissan, Renault, and Dacia, and it allows you to change a bunch of settings. And this is where it gets dangerous. Being that DDT for All is an internal program, it does allow you to change things that will actually destroy your car. So, if you are not familiar with any programming and you're not confident about this program at all, do not proceed with the modifications there is a chance that if you do something, it will brick your car. Andy stresses this on his website quite a lot. Here again, if the power goes out, it will damage the car. Once again here, when using a program such as DDT for all, there will always carry some risk, so use with caution. Here it is again, if something goes wrong, there is always a risk. You can ruin your car using DDT for all, so use this program with caution and use at your own risk. So the bottom line is this, if you don't know what you're doing, don't proceed with the video. Don't proceed with the modifications. Myself nor Andy will be held liable for any damages that you may incur to your car. So once again, proceed with caution. But if you're willing to go ahead, then let me just explain one final thing. I'm gonna break this video up into a bunch of different videos. So. This video here is purely just a setup video. So I'm gonna show you how to install DDT for all, and I'm gonna get it all set up for you uh, so it's ready to go into the car. After this video, check out my channel and I'm gonna have a bunch of other videos I've uploaded on how to process the modifications for the other systems that you want modified. So with that, let's start downloading DDT for all by clicking the link here. It will take you to this website here. And the link that we're looking for is DDT for all, all cars, which is this one right here. So click on that and that will download the DDT for all functions that you require. Now, I need to explain, you can download DDT for all from other websites. However, those websites won't have the included database that is required. You can find the correct database, but then you have to go digging around. This link here has the database already included. So that's why we, we would recommend this website here. It will take you to this website here, click download, and it will start downloading. Once it's downloaded, open up the installer, 
and go through the setup guide. Very straightforward and simple. And for the eagle-eyed viewers, I have installed it here. Uh, I'm just doing this again just for to show you guys. Once it's installed, we can plug in the OBD reader and we can go ahead and open up DDT for all and that will pop up with the selection that we require. And then from here, you can take this out to the car and plug this in and jump onto my channel and you can watch the other videos that are available uh, to make modifications. We've got changing the language on the around view monitor. We've got one touch indicators. We've got disabling the reverse beep and we have follow me home lights. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you on the other videos.